good morning, everybody. I'm Stefano, uh, working at GeoSolutions as front-end developer. And uh, in this presentation, I'll show you a um, use case that a uh, study that we, we are currently working on that it's related to the city of Genoa and uh, how it's, uh, their infrastructure is built. So uh, we started to co collaborate with the Comune of Genova, the city, uh, from the 2014 uh, to create this uh, hybrid GIS infrastructure that was based on open sources uh, software. Uh, so we designed with them uh, uh, the every continuous design with them how the tools that are integrated also in uh, the Map Store core uh, to create this new plugin that could help uh, to visualize and anal analyze data. And also a part to monitoring the access of data uh, through Elasticsearch and Kibana. Here, uh, a list of uh, the component uh, of their infrastructure to serve data and uh, um, they are using GeoServer, that it's an open source server that you can manage and publish data with OGC specification. Uh, they ins have the, this uh, custom installation of GeoNode uh, and mainly they wanted to provide the raster and vector data related to the municipal municipality and uh, have the possibility to uh, work through Map Store as front-end uh, through the REST API and change styling of their content. And uh, they needed also support for this uh, different database system so the, Ge the GeoServer integration allows also this through uh, plugins and have a system of uh, clusters and a control flow to uh, control the, the data requested to the server. Uh, inside the GeoNode, uh, sorry, uh, the GeoServer system, they also are using the GeoWeb cache. Uh, it's able to cache and store requests through WMS, WMTS, W. MSC, TMS, and KML. So when they're requesting tiling, uh, and uh, if the layer and the layer when they are properly configured, uh, those are stored and memorized in the um, G GWC uh, system. And at that point, uh, there will be the, the request of the tile will be cached and uh, not re-render every time for each request. They are using GeoFence because they need in their system to manage uh, access to services and um, to layers uh, based on group, IP addresses. Uh, they need also to specific OG services available for specific user and also access to layer and workspace available to their system. Uh, so they, using GeoFence, there is also uh, an integration of uh, a client inter user interface uh, so they can manage through Map Store the rules that they need. So there is a plugin and a page build for this specific project, and it's available also in the core of Map Store if one wants to enable that through the Map Store product to uh, allow this uh, um, kind of restri restriction and uh, um, authentication through layers. They are using the GeoNetor catalog uh, to mm, manage the resources. They need to also to have a specific metadata validation. And for this reason, they choose uh, the uh, GeoNetwork uh, system and the catalog application to, um, uh, let's say, to collect and uh, share their data. Finally, as uh, open source uh, front end, uh, they're using Map Store. Uh, within the Map Store, they're also contributing uh, on the uh, and porting some of the functionality that we currently have, uh, uh, thanks to their work uh, to the core of Map, Map Store, and they help us also to improve uh, uh, some uh, uh, integration. In particular, the last one was the Cesium integration by improving some functionality of the 3D part. And uh, the use of uh, this front end allow us also to add some uh, new component that was not available in the core to the uh, Map Store framework uh, uh, extensibility. Uh, 
uh, by default allows to use uh, WMTS, WMS, uh, uh, and uh, also provides a like OSM Bing. So for their use case was uh, uh, a sort of the, the idea to mesh up content and visualize and create a visualization was their, their focus. So with the uh, help through Map Store and, and GeoServer, they were able to create this sort of visualization. Here the daily geo portal. Um, as I mentioned, it's based on Map Store, and uh, they are using it for uh, not only the, um, let's say, technical part, but also for the citizen. Their focus is to have this uh, sort of balanced uh, environment where they have a sort of back office uh, um, system to work on the data, to analyze the data, to style, apply style the data. And then another part that is for the public to uh, visualize, interact with the data, and uh, for some specific topic. So it's not only uh, focus on the technical user, but also to the citizen user, because uh, it's related to the city of Genova and the urban environment. Uh, we. We choose the map store based also to the way it's possible to customize, to also uh, be compatible with the most common uh, browser, and uh, this is a part that was a requirement. Uh, and initially, there was also the support for Internet Explorer. Currently, it's deprecated, so we moved to Edge part. And uh, uh, another focus on the use case was the use of different authentication system, uh, such the L LDAP and the SPID. Uh, so we improved both the map store front end and back end to uh, allow the, the, this integration and allows to uh, use uh, this new authentication system. Here, an overview of their viewer. Uh, as a theming, they choose to keep the default one, so as the, as the main product. This is the map viewer with one of their map related to the uh, tourism where it's focused on uh, uh, when there is an alight, also the use of charts on top of the maps. Uh, and uh, on the left, you can see the table of content where it's possible by expanding each card to have uh, a legend that used your server behind through the get, uh, get legend graphic uh, request uh, to visualize and uh, understand the content of this uh, map. On the left, the tool uh, uh, that you can see in the, this new sidebar, before we had a drop-down menu, uh, are the one that uh, MapSore provide out of, the out, of the box, uh, out of the box, but at the bottom you can see there is a different one, probably, I don't know if it's uh, really visible. And for example, in that case, they needed a specific link for to their catalog, that is the Geo Network one, and uh, with MapSore we were able to extend this and uh, uh, from using the, the base functionalities. Uh, one use that also they, one tool that also they are using is the attribute table, uh, not only to reading data, but also to uh, editing data. The attribute table in MapStore behind the use a WFS transaction uh, request. So in this case, through the open layers uh, integrated in Map Store, we are able to draw new geometries and then uh, send the request to the server. That it's uh, uh, the authentication system through the Map Store and the Geo Server. It's aligned, so it's able to receive those requests and add new features to uh, the, uh, the um, layers on the database. One improvement uh, uh, that was done both on uh, client side and server side, uh, so the styling system, uh, when we start to work on 3D, uh, we had a, a basic styling system for the vector layer that could be rendered inside the map. So uh, uh, we needed, uh, in the last year, we worked on an implementation, the Visual Style Editor, that was aligned to the previous one that we had, uh, that was based only on the REST API of the server. Uh, this new one provides uh, some uh, um, similar, uh, let's say, 
rules to apply to the style, point, line, polygon, and marker that will work also, for example, not only at WFS, but at GeoJSON that you import on the map. Uh, an interesting part for the new 3D environment that we added also the model symbolizer that use a GLTF model, so you can have a point and to that point uh, apply instead of a marker, a, a model itself that will uh, inherit uh, the properties of the vector layer. Uh, layer settings uh, also work has been done on this side. Uh, mainly here you can see the display panel uh, where uh, there are a lot of functionality that based also in their integration that works uh, a lot with your server. We allow also to apply um, vendor parameters such as the, uh, what it's called, the, the one related to the internet, internationalization of the styles and uh, the one related to the cache. So uh, also the, the, we, we get the information uh, through the WMTS to apply the correct high grid to the layer and uh, at that point uh, get the correct heat of the uh, JWeb cache system behind. Here an example of the catalog where you can import uh, the data. This is in their, their infra infrastructure. Uh, so the, the UI on the left show the list of uh, layers that are, pre are present in, a, for example, in this case, I think it's a CSW catalog that could be imported, for example, like WMS. And on the right, the possibility to include and uh, customize the service that we want to use. By default, they have uh, included the one that come from uh, their GeoServer. Uh, improvement has been done, and now it's a bit dark, the image here, but uh, on the uh, measurement tool, uh, they help us to improve uh, uh, the measurement of uh, 3D features, uh, and so, enhance the decision part to have so, sort of a, a different way to measure the feature of their building. They have this 3D tile of the city and they want to take advantage of this uh, data uh, to, for example, have the quote of some uh, element to have the, also able to measure the, uh, the, the uh, surface, vertical surface of buildings. Uh, dashboard, uh, they, they included the dashboard that there are in Map Store with the same functionality with some announcement also on the layout part to reduce and make available the global visualization in a single view. And uh, in this case, it's one of the dashboard that I will talk later about the topic around of this. Uh, they, they, in the case, have the step wizard to allow us to create uh, new charts, uh, so uh, new charts or different kind of widget. By um, default, you will find uh, five widgets in the UI or map store. Then if you add a new map, you could also or a legend to assign and apply to a specific layer. Uh, there, there is also some announcement on the possibility to connection in between widget in particular maps and table. So there is a logic of uh, parent children to apply, the, for example, if a uh, um, charts is connected to uh, a map, you can use the bounding box uh, to filter the content of the charts. The same of the table, if you connect some charts to the table and filter the content, uh, you will filter also the content on the charts. They, are, they also include uh, the GeoStory uh, application, so the way to create a scroll, scrollable story uh, like with section and uh, immersive content. So uh, they creating the maps, for example, is an example of architectures uh, that want to highlight in the city and uh, they are creating the maps with the map viewer and then in the story include those content with description and highlight of some uh, routes that could be taken in the city to as tourists or as a study to visualize this kind of architecture. So here is an, uh, an highlight of the uh, edit part 
where you can see how to edit these uh, these elements. So when you go in edit of a Geo story, you have these three of uh, each of these represent a section that you can drag and drop and move around and uh, recompose your story. Here an example of media, so they created a map and then put this map inside their story. Here is the, the application context manager. So they wanted uh, also to include in their installation of Mofsor that come from Mofsor uh, from, I think last year was the, the implementation of this uh, application content manager. So they can step by step create a specific uh, viewer where not all the plugins are, are available. For example, in this case, they decide to remove the sidebar uh, have some tools enabled by default uh, and uh, have a drop, uh, drop down at the top uh, just to show some uh, uh, few plugins that needed for this visualization. For example, this one was related to uh, the, uh, I think, uh, the cycle building, no, the routes inside the city to walk around. Some example of the usage uh, map of tourism, so they take data uh, from uh, services in the city, some uh, spots, uh, highlighted spots that could, uh, the citizen could visualize and use as information to uh, navigate around and uh, understand, for example, those market red represent the information uh, points that one could reach if they need. So they use this as a, for the citizen as a, yeah, instrument uh, to navigate the city. Uh, they used the map store for the election in 2022 for the municipali municipality. Uh, they uh, keep to updating the data, uh, and then they have this map that's like final results uh, where show uh, which one was the uh, the evolution of uh, the votes for this election. So this is another use case that they apply using Map Store and all the system behind that. Uh, they are using also this for the historical building on the city, uh, not only just as uh, as I showed before, tourism, but also to highlight some uh, uh, problem that could be in the building, so some uh, uh, that, that could be fixed. So it's, it's sort of less true from the citizen, more to the technician that needs to understand if some um, fixes need to be done to some buildings. So this is another use case that they apply using this infra infrastructure. Uh, urban planning, uh, using this, so in the technical side, uh, they are up up uploaded all the data related to the urban plan of the city. So it could be accesses to the citizen and some layer restricted to the technical part, maybe because there are some analysis and evolution of uh, the, the process of the planning. Here the architecture example, uh, they collected the most uh, significant uh, building in the city uh, and created this map uh, through also an enhancement uh, and uh, the usage of the uh, free market template of GeoServer. So they were able through MapStore and GeoServer to have a complete visualization with a card for each building that was inside the map. Here the residential architecture example of the GeoStory. They took the maps, but I light only a road. So they imported the map that created and then tell a story about all this environment to uh, some path that could be taken inside the city. Uh, dashboard used for the access accessibility of uh, some uh, area. So the use of multiple map, the use of uh, data, uh, the attribute table and charts uh, to compare to different way to access. Uh, so this is uh, a usage that they are doing with the dashboard. So the advantage to have uh, multiple uh, maps and charts at the same time. Um, to conclude this uh, presentation, here uh, there are the links to the documentation, the first one 
is uh, related to the user guide of the latest release, and the second one is related to development guide for the latest release. So if you want to take a look on Map Store, what it's providing, and uh, the city of Genoa it's using most of the functionality, I mean, I think all the functionality available in the release, uh, you can take a look there if you are interested in those. So thank you, and uh, if there are some questions.